In a perfect world, everything is square or flat, but in this world, it's round because we're using a round barrel. So holding on to something round is a little bit tricky. Here's what I came up with. These curved supports will support the barrel. Also, I added two braces right in here to support this because even if we welded this on here, eventually it would fatigue these welds and break them. But by adding a support, we add a lot of strength. It's a kind of a funky angle here, so I use just a general uh, angle finder and I put it in here and I come up with about 65 degrees. Uh, if you subtract 65 from 90, you come up with about 25 degrees. So we can lay out about a 25 degree angle and cut it on this square tube, square on one end and about 25 degrees on the other. And we'll be able to come up with a small brace piece. I had a little issue coming up with how I was gonna build those curves. Here's how I did it. Um, those little pieces are eight inches long a piece, so that gives me about 16 inches. Um, I cut this piece, I think is about 20 or 24 inches long, and I've just clamped it to the pipe. Um, I've also added, let me turn it here so you can see it. I've added just a giant clamp. This could be a bar clamp. This could be uh, even a pair of like uh, channel locks if you had it, just to give me a little bit of uh, something to hold this pipe with. And it's really basically pretty simple. Um, we're just gonna grab a hold of it. I've got the, the clamp against my leg and I'm just gonna bend this up and around. And I'm just gonna keep working it until I bend it all the way over. Now keep in mind this radius, this radius isn't a perfect radius. We're just gonna give us something to work from. Got that done. We're gonna slide this off. And this is kind of what we wound up with. You could really use anything you can find around to make this curve, um, maybe even a five gallon bucket. All right, we took that curve piece. We measured out eight inches and cut an eight inch curve out of it. Wind up with these two pieces right here. Now this is way too little radius to go around a 55 gallon drum. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring them over here. We're gonna weld them in place. Once I get them in place and I get them welded, I can start to work the metal and shape them into the curve of the barrel. Let me throw my welding stuff on and let's get to it. Now what I've done is I've marked out center on this and I've got a center arrow right here, and that'll help me keep it lined up. It's not a super critical dimension because we're gonna drill the holes in the barrel once it's in place, so kind of wherever it falls, it works. All right, we've got this in place. Now, it's hotter than two rats humping in a wool sock right now. We can't put that plastic barrel on it, but if we give it a couple of minutes, let it cool off, we're gonna come back and start shaping it. All right, I have the little pieces that we cut earlier. These were the ones we cut a 25 degree angle on. They're two inches long on the backside. I'm gonna go ahead and just use these to kind of give me a little bit of a guide and a little aid to bending, bending this over. And we're just gonna keep working it using body weight and working it into shape until we get it to sh fit that barrel. All right, we still gotta take quite a bit out of it. See how that fits. It's getting a lot closer. Take just a little more out of it. And the nice thing about this is from manufacturer to manufacturer, the barrels do change a very small amount. So whatever barrel you wind up with, you can fit it to the barrel you have. 
I like that a lot. And what do you know, it almost lines up with the holes from this barrel train car that I already took apart, so we're pretty doggone close. Now we're gonna come in here and measure off the center line, or actually off each side of this main beam, and put a mark to put our little braces in place. Three and a half there. And four and a half there. So I need to bring this one up. This one down. Now, we were off a little bit. One side was three and a half, the other side was four and a half. That told us that we had the barrel tilted to one side. By the fact that both of our little 25 degree pieces are the same size, when we get this centered up, we know that it's gonna hold our bar barrel perfectly in the center. We're within about a sixteenth of an inch or less, and that's pretty, pretty much close enough for government work. What I'm gonna do here is uh, get it fit up real quick, um, check, this, check everything one more time, and I'm gonna tack up these, uh, these small braces. it over. Nice. I like that a lot. So we'll check one more time, it's gotta be fast because it's real hot. Let's just make sure we're good. I like it, let's go with it. I'm liking that a lot. It's shaping up real nice. Let's put some wheels on it and see what it looks like. Not too bad, not too bad at all. If you look at it, this one's been in service for quite a while. This one's the one that we just made today, brand new. We need to get some, throw some paint on it, keep it from rusting here in Florida where it's humid all the time. All right, well the very last part of our project for the day is our hitch pin. I painted it red in case it falls out in the grass. It's easy for my kids to find. Um, and all it is is a three inch, seven sixteenths bolt with a giant washer welded on it. So we got that same bolt and that same washer. Now what I did do is cross drill it, cross drill a hole through it for a cotter pin or a hitch pin so that when the train goes over bumps, the pin doesn't fall out and the cars come apart. I'm gonna put this here, put on my welding hood, get it welded. check it for straightness. The zinc that's on these washers, I probably should have ground it off before I welded it. It doesn't do real good with the welding, but we'll go ahead and finish it up anyway. It's not really a critical weld. Drop it like it's hot, because it is. All right, well that about wraps it up for this episode. Please tune in to the next episode where we're gonna put the barrel on the train, make a dash, make a seat, make a steering wheel, and button this thing all up and get it together. Uh, check back with us and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook. Please, somewhere down below here is a link. 
See you soon.